to troubleshoot a baseboard heater other than checking the voltage across the thermostat, there are several steps you can take. Firstly, check the circuit breaker or fuse. Ensure the circuit breaker or fuse supplying power to the baseboard heater is turned on and not blown. Secondly, examine the heater element. Disconnect power first. Remove the front cover of the heater and inspect the heating element. It should be intact and free of any cracks or breaks. Thirdly, test the temperature sensor. Use a multimeter to measure the resistance of the temperature sensor. It should be within the manufacturer's specifications. Fourthly, check the wiring. Inspect the electrical connections within the heater for any loose or damaged wires. Tighten any loose connections and replace damaged wires. Fifthly, clean the heater. A buildup of dust and debris can interfere with heat transfer. Clean the heating element fins and internal components with a vacuum cleaner or soft brush. Regarding the safety considerations of older baseboard heaters, they may not meet current safety standards. There are several potential safety concerns. One concern is electrical hazards. Old or faulty wiring can create shock hazards. Another concern is fire risk. Overheating or malfunctioning heaters can pose a fire hazard. A further consideration is asbestos insulation. Older heaters may contain asbestos insulation, which is a known carcinogen. Another thing to be aware of is the lack of safety features. Modern heaters typically have safety features such as thermal cutoffs and tip-over switches, which older models may lack. If you believe your baseboard heat is very old, it is highly recommended to have it inspected and serviced by a qualified electrician for safety reasons. The electrician can assess the condition of the heater, identify any potential hazards, and make necessary repairs or replacements. When checking the circuit breaker, make sure it's fully switched to the on position. Sometimes a breaker can appear to be on, but it has actually tripped and is only partially engaged. Resetting the breaker by switching it completely off and then back on can resolve this issue. If the breaker trips frequently, it could indicate a more serious problem, such as a short circuit or an overloaded circuit. In that case, further investigation is needed. When examining the heater element, look closely for any signs of damage. Cracks, breaks, or corrosion can all affect the element's ability to heat properly. If you find any damage, the element will need to be replaced. Be sure to use a replacement element that is compatible with your specific baseboard heater model. When testing the temperature sensor, refer to the manufacturer's specifications for the correct resistance range. The resistance of the sensor will vary depending on the temperature. If the resistance is outside of the specified range, the sensor is likely faulty and needs to be replaced. A faulty temperature sensor can cause the heater to overheat or not heat at all. When checking the wiring, pay close attention to the wire connections at the heater element, the thermostat, and the circuit breaker. Loose connections can cause arcing, which can lead to a fire. Damaged wires should be replaced with wires of the same gauge and insulation type. Be sure to use wire connectors that are appropriate for the size and type of wire being used. When cleaning the heater, be careful not to damage any of the components. Use a soft brush or vacuum cleaner to remove dust and debris. Avoid using water or any other liquids, as this could create an electrical hazard. Regularly cleaning the heater can improve its efficiency and extend its lifespan. When considering the safety of all the baseboard heaters, it's important to be aware of the potential hazards. Electrical hazards can be mitigated by ensuring that the wiring is in good condition and that all connections are tight. Fire risks can be reduced by keeping the heater clean and free of obstructions. If you suspect that your heater may contain asbestos insulation, do not attempt to remove it yourself. Contact a qualified asbestos abatement contractor to have it safely removed. Modern baseboard heaters have a number of safety features that older models may lack. These features include thermal cutoffs, which automatically shut off the heater if it overheats, and tip-over switches, which shut off the heater if it is knocked over. If you are concerned about the safety of your older baseboard heaters, you may want to consider replacing them with newer models that have these safety features. A qualified electrician can inspect your baseboard heaters and identify any potential hazards. 
They can also make any necessary repairs or replacements. It's important to have your baseboard heaters inspected regularly to ensure that they are operating safely and efficiently. Regular inspections can help to prevent electrical fires and other hazards. If you are not comfortable working with electricity, it's always best to hire a qualified electrician to perform any repairs or maintenance on your baseboard heaters. Working with electricity can be dangerous, and it's important to take the necessary precautions to protect yourself from shock and other hazards. Always disconnect the power to the heater before performing any repairs or maintenance. Use a non-contact voltage tester to ensure that the power is off. Wear safety glasses and gloves to protect yourself from injury. If you are unsure about any aspect of troubleshooting or repairing your baseboard heaters, consult a qualified electrician. Baseboard heaters are a common and convenient way to heat homes. However, it's important to be aware of the potential hazards and to take the necessary precautions to ensure that they are operating safely. By following these troubleshooting and safety tips, you can help to keep your home warm and safe. The heating element is a critical part of the baseboard heater. It's the component that actually generates the heat. Over time, the heating element can become damaged or worn out, which can affect its ability to heat properly. If you suspect that your heating element is damaged, you can test it with a multimeter. Set the multimeter to the ohm setting and measure the resistance of the element. The resistance should be within the manufacturer's specifications. If the resistance is outside of the specified range, the element needs to be replaced. The temperature sensor is another important component of the baseboard heater. It's responsible for regulating the temperature of the heater. A faulty temperature sensor can cause the heater to overheat or not heat at all. If you suspect that your temperature sensor is faulty, you can test it with a multimeter. Set the multimeter to the own setting and measure the resistance of the sensor. The resistance should vary depending on the temperature. If the resistance is not changing with temperature, the sensor needs to be replaced. The wiring in a baseboard heater can also become damaged over time. Loose connections, frayed wires, and corroded terminals can all affect the heater's performance. Inspect the wiring carefully for any signs of damage. Tighten any loose connections, replace any frayed wires, and clean any corroded terminals. The thermostat is responsible for controlling the baseboard heater. A faulty thermostat can cause the heater to not turn on or to not turn off. If you suspect that your thermostat is faulty, you can test it with a multimeter. Set the multimeter to the volt setting and measure the voltage across the thermostat terminals. When the thermostat is turned on, there should be voltage across the terminals. When the thermostat is turned off, there should be no voltage across the terminals. If the voltage is not changing when you turn the thermostat on and off, the thermostat needs to be replaced. Dust and debris can accumulate inside the baseboard heater over time. This buildup can reduce the heater's efficiency and can even create a fire hazard. Clean the heater regularly with a vacuum cleaner or soft brush. Be sure to disconnect the power to the heater before cleaning it. Older baseboard heaters may contain asbestos insulation. Asbestos is a known carcinogen and it's important to handle it with care. If you suspect that your heater contains asbestos insulation, do not attempt to remove it yourself. Contact a qualified asbestos abatement contractor to have it safely removed. Modern baseboard heaters have a number of safety features that older models may lack. These features include thermal cutoffs, which automatically shut off the heater if it overheats, and tip of the switches which shut off the heater if it is knocked over. If you are concerned about the safety of your older baseboard heaters, you may want to consider replacing them with newer models that have these safety features. A qualified electrician can inspect your baseboard heaters and identify any potential hazards. They can also make any necessary repairs or replacements. It's important to have your baseboard heaters inspected regularly to ensure that they are operating safely and efficiently. Regular inspections can help to prevent electrical fires and other hazards. If you are not comfortable working with electricity, it's always best to hire a qualified electrician to perform any repairs or maintenance on your baseboard heaters. Working with electricity can be dangerous, 
and it's important to take the necessary precautions to protect yourself from shock and other hazards. Always disconnect the power to the heater before performing any repairs or maintenance. Use a non-contact voltage tester to ensure that the power is off. Wear safety glasses and gloves to protect yourself from injury. If you are unsure about any aspect of troubleshooting or repairing your baseboard heaters, consult a qualified electrician. Baseboard heaters are a common and convenient way to heat homes. However, it's important to be aware of the potential hazards and to take the necessary precautions to ensure that they are operating safely. By following these troubleshooting and safety tips, you can help to keep your home warm and safe. Also, consider the age of the wiring in your home. If your home has old wiring, it may not be able to handle the load of modern appliances, including baseboard heaters. Old wiring can be a fire hazard. If you have old wiring, it's important to have it inspected by a qualified electrician. They can assess the condition of the wiring and make any necessary repairs or replacements. The type of thermostat you use can also affect the performance of your baseboard heaters. Some thermostats are designed specifically for use with baseboard heaters. These thermostats are more accurate and can help to improve the efficiency of your heaters. If you are using a standard thermostat with your baseboard heaters, you may want to consider upgrading to a thermostat that is designed for use with baseboard heaters. The location of your baseboard heaters can also affect their performance. Baseboard heaters should be located along exterior walls, where they can provide the most effective heating. Avoid placing furniture or other objects in front of your baseboard heaters, as this can block the heat and reduce their efficiency. The size of your baseboard heaters should be appropriate for the size of the room. If your baseboard heaters are too small, they will not be able to heat the room effectively. If your baseboard heaters are too large, they will waste energy. Consult a qualified electrician to determine the appropriate size of baseboard heaters for your home. The maintenance of your baseboard heaters can also affect their performance. Regularly cleaning your baseboard heaters and inspecting them for damage can help to keep them operating safely and efficiently. If you notice any problems with your baseboard heaters, have them repaired by a qualified electrician as soon as possible. The cost of operating baseboard heaters can vary depending on the size of the heaters, the climate, and the cost of electricity. However, baseboard heaters are generally more expensive to operate than other types of heating systems such as furnaces or heat pumps. If you are concerned about the cost of operating your baseboard heaters, you may want to consider using them in conjunction with other types of heating systems such as a wood stove or a pellet stove. The safety of your baseboard heaters is paramount. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for installation and operation. Never leave baseboard heaters unattended, especially if there are children or pets in the home. Keep flammable materials away from baseboard heaters. Have your baseboard heaters inspected regularly by a qualified electrician. By following these safety tips, you can help to prevent electrical fires and other hazards. Remember, baseboard heaters are a common and convenient way to heat homes. However, it's important to be aware of the potential hazards and to take the necessary precautions to ensure that they are operating safely. By following these troubleshooting and safety tips, you can help to keep your home warm and safe.